across the plains of the Serengeti, the largest and most dominant hunters on land are the lions. These mighty felines can grow to twice the length of a human's height, and the largest can even weigh the same as an adult brown bear, the second largest living land predator. Along with their immense size, these cats are also known for their grace and intelligence, which have aided them in their rule of the expansive savannas and grasslands. And just like today, many lions of the past were extremely formidable as well. But of all the ones to have come and go throughout time, there is one in particular that really sticks out among the rest, as not only did it outsize the modern lion, but it was also the largest feline to have ever lived. This is the American lion. Its existence was first made known to paleontologists all the way back in the early 1800s, when parts of its skull material were located in the state of Mississippi. From the get-go, it was clear that it was a feline of some sort, and was specifically believed to have been a new species of the already established genus Felis, which contains the domestic cat among others. However, thanks to an influx in American lion specimens later on, Paleontologists realized that it was more similar to larger cats and moved it to the genus Panthera, which contains five living species including the lion, tiger, jaguar, leopard, and the snow leopard. The extant lion in particular was important in this classification change, as paleontologists thought that it shared the most similarities with the American lion. In fact, the two are so similar in body shape and features that it was actually thought to have been a new type of lion and therefore it was made into a subspecies and given the scientific name Panthera leo atrox, which also led to its popular nickname the American Lion, a homage to its habitat and status as a lion. However, like in the case of the direwolf, it turns out that the American Lion wasn't really a lion after all, as research has found that despite many similarities, the two cats are still too different to be considered the same species. These differences include the American lion's stockier build, lack of a developed mane, proportionally longer legs, and a uniquely shaped skull. Although, it still remained a member of the Panthera genus and was given the scientific name Panthera atrox, meaning the cruel panther, a nod to its ferocious array of weapons and size. The studies that unveiled its true nature also questioned if the lion is even its closest relative with some asserting that it's actually the tiger or jaguar. Although these claims were shut down after a DNA sequence affirmed that the lion is indeed its closest relative. The DNA study also showed that the American lion likely originated from an early cave lion population that became isolated south of the North American continental ice sheet about 340,000 years ago during the Pleistocene. It was also noted that the last common ancestor between the American lion and modern lions lived anywhere from 500,000 to 1.9 million years ago. And somewhere along the way, not only did the American lion become its own species, but it also became freakishly big, with paleontologists estimating that on average an adult was about 25% larger than an African lion. However, some individuals got way bigger than even this as the species showed high sexual dimorphism and variability in size, leading to larger males usually weighing between 351 kilograms or 774 pounds to 420 kilograms or 930 pounds. At this size, it far exceeds any living feline today and makes it a contender for the largest cat of all time. Only the Smilodon and Panthera fossilis are considered rivals in size, with the Smilodon in particular holding the edge with a max weight of 470 kilograms or 1,040 pounds, making it even larger than the average adult polar bear. However, this matters not, as new specimens found in 2012 reveal that extraordinarily large American lions could reach greater sizes than both the Smilodon and Panthera fossilis with the current estimate on these giant individuals being about 1,153 pounds, or 523 kilos in weight. At this size, they not only outweigh eight adult humans, but are also considered the largest feline to have ever lived. This made them one of the most fearsome predators of their time, and unfortunately for those that lived alongside it, they weren't exactly slowed down by their mammoth body as their robust bone structure and long legs still allowed them to remain extremely fast. 
with conservative estimates placing their running speed at over 30 miles per hour, or 48 kilometers per hour, making them faster than any human runner and similar in speed to a warthog. Despite their speedy nature, it is still believed that the American lion would have hunted by utilizing ambushes to take down their prey, rather than running victims down over long distances. In these ambushes, they are believed to have killed unfortunate targets with their vicious retractable claws and deadly bite, as evidenced by recovered specimens such as Blue Babe, a frozen step bison that was found with deep claw wounds and bite marks, which matched those of an American lion. The bite of the American lion was especially nasty, as it was extremely powerful for a feline, thanks to his gargantuan skull that was thickly built, allowing it to sink its 4 inch or 10 centimeter long canines into prey with the force of 1800 pounds per square inch, making it nearly 3 times more powerful than the bite of a modern lion and 6 times harder than that of the Smilodon, which had a relatively weak bite force due to its saber teeth. The extreme power of the American lion is further demonstrated by more unfortunate victims, which included a seriously unlucky grey wolf. This particular canine found itself in the clutches of an American lion's jaw near the La Brea tar pits in California. It actually somehow managed to escape with its life, yet not unharmed, as the power of the feline's bite completely severed its right femur in half removing a large portion of its leg and showcasing this cat's crazy power. And the American lion wasn't just a brute that used sheer power to hunt, as it also seems to have been fairly intelligent, indicated by its large brain case and the fact that many living species of panthera are also considered to be highly intelligent. Further evidence of its intellect has also been seen indirectly through various ancient tar traps throughout the United States. For thousands of years during the Pleistocene, herbivores of all kinds fell victim to these tar pits, which in turn would lure in predators. What's interesting, however, is that despite the American lion being one of the most commonly found carnivores during its era, it was rarely found at these tar pits, while coexisting competitors such as the direwolf and Smilodon were found in great numbers leading paleontologists to believe that the American lion had heightened intelligence which made it better at avoiding entrapment. Along with its intelligence, other useful traits the American lion is thought to have shared with its modern relatives include remarkable vision, smell, and hearing. Regarding its hearing, paleontologists believe that it was able to pick up on sounds that were coming from well over a mile or 1.6 kilometers away and its smell may have even been better, with some suggesting that it could pick up the scent of a prey that was multiple miles or kilometers away from it. With these useful traits and its monstrous size, the American lion was a formidable killer that could take down a large array of prey, which included deer, horses, camels, tapirs, peccaries, rodents, and step bison. The step bison in particular seems to have been its preferred food, as multiple American lion attacks on them are known through various specimens. This feline may have also preyed on the giant Colombian mammoth that lived alongside it, although it's not known if it would have been capable of taking down adults or just sub-adults, as this would rely upon if it lived in prides or not. As of now, there is no conclusive evidence to say that it lived in prides, with some thinking that its large size implies that it was a lone hunter while others believe that since its nearest living relative lives in prides, that it likely did as well. Now, if it did live in prides, it would have had a reasonable shot at bringing down mature mammoths. And even if it was not a gregarious creature, it still would have been a threat to mammoth populations nonetheless, according to one study. The researchers here found that young mammoths would begin their lives extremely protected by their herd but would at some point experience a stage where they were still small enough for the American lion to take down, yet were mature enough to wander away from their mothers to forage. It was at this point in life that paleontologists think that many mammoths fell victim to American lions. And this window of opportunity for the felines is thought to have taken place while mammoths were between 2 and 9 years old, where at the latter age they would have weighed a maximum of 2 tons. The American lion's specialty of taking down younger, large megafauna extended to other herbivores as well, such as the American mastodon, and paleontologists actually believe that it, along with its competitor such as wolves, direwolves, and saber-toothed cats, 
posed a serious threat to populations, with these predators attributing up to 17% of all deaths among juvenile megafauna. The success the American lion had as a hunter is not only reflected by its impressive diet, but also its wide range, as it inhabited most of the United States, as well as parts of Canada and Mexico throughout the Middle and Late Pleistocene, with its oldest fossils dating to 340,000 years ago. Within its range, it seems to have preferred expansive plains and savannas as it wasn't found in eastern Canada or northeastern United States, where dense boreal forests were widely present. Some of these savannas and plains were regularly subjected to harsh cold weather, especially during the last glacial maximum, which occurred between 20,000 to 26,000 years ago. It's thought that the American lion used caves for shelter from the cold and might have used grass and leaves to line their den, a tactic currently seen in the living Siberian tiger. Amazingly preserved specimens also showed this feline had two distinct layers of fur, an outer one that was composed of guard hairs and a dense undercoat, which gave it both further protection from the cold and a reddish appearance. Despite its environment often being chilly, the habitat of the American lion was still full of life, and as a result it lived alongside many iconic Ice Age animals, which along with the previously mentioned prey and competitors included the Homo therium, cougars, coyotes, black bears, jaguars, short-faced bears, pronghorns, wood bison, longhorned bison, hypolagus, holmacina, bighorn sheep, mountain goats, voles, stag moose, giant beaver, butherium, various ground sloths, and even glyptodonts. Additionally, since the American lion was still around 20,000 years ago, it did coexist with humans, who may have actually been one of its primary threats. This notion comes from the discovery of trash heaps of American lion bones that were found next to Paleolithic humans. This has also led some to speculate that humans were a contributing factor in the American lion's ultimate demise. Now when exactly this giant feline went extinct is not certain, but as of now, the youngest fossils of this cat have been dated to 12,877 years ago. This extinction date aligns with a quaternary extinction event that took out most of the megafauna at the time. And like the unknown exact time of the American lion's eradication, the precise cause of this extinction event isn't clear. But in recent years, the two leading ideas have been human overhunting and climate change, with the two perhaps working synergistically as a double whammy for megafauna, which in this case could have included the largest cat of all time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. 